We're here at Sun and Fun in the new and improved Paradise City where a lot of folks are excited to see the many changes that have happened here. Speaking of a lot of changes, we're speaking with James Weavey today of Be Light Aircraft and also does some instrument work. We'll talk about that in another video, but you've got kind of a significantly transformed airplane here in two important ways that I see and you can give me some details. Looks like a different kind of construction to the fuselage than I've seen before. And this certainly looks like a four-stroke engine. Am I seeing it all right? You got it right. We Tell me more. Yeah, we completely redesigned the cabin. So everything except the cabin is as it was, but the cabin itself is all in the computer. It's cut from uh, CNC aluminum as we've got the right machine to do it. Everything is perfect. All the holes are lined up. So the cage around yep. the pilot, is that what you're we're speaking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Firewall back to the Firewall end of the uh, cockpit. Firewall back the end of the cockpit is all brand new. And then we combine it. We had the turtle deck. Uh, we brought out that last year. But uh, that has turned into the most popular option. People love the look. And we wanted to make it look like a Cub. So the, and so it is. Here it is. All looking good. The door itself is an example. There we go. This is all CNC cut. Uh, rivets together. Everything in exactly the right space. It's really well. So, what has this done for you? Why, why would you go to all this effort to re, to change this, Jim? What has it done for you? Well, it's several things. Believe it or not, by going to aluminum and CNC cutting, it's substantially less expensive than welding. Uh, it's okay. easier sure, to assemble. Everything lines up perfectly. You end up with a more square rig. It's perfect, and it's a better airplane too. It's lighter. It's lighter, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it's a lighter airplane. Approximate weight savings. Uh, well, guess it's wild guess. Six, seven pounds. Oh, okay, so, that's that's notable. On a in a light airplane, airplane, that's a lot less yeah. actually. Yeah, and it's less expensive, so you can still get that old steel off option. We'll sell it to you. Love to. Five thousand dollars additional. Wow. It increases the cost of the uh, kit by forty percent. Well, I tried to do a little welding once myself. That didn't turn out so no. good. I'm not good at it. But I learned through that that that's kind of an art form. Yeah. No. You got to know what you're doing to yeah. weld confidently. And those that do, wow, that's great. But this doesn't time. take that. No. And we shipped. You know, we've been shipping cabins. I think we've shipped around 10 or 11 cabins already. Of these, of the this new one. year, okay. of the Excellent. new ones. So, and I've got builders already who nearly have their cabin done. I mean, just, you know, a couple wow. of weekends and they got it together. Is that they right? really, yeah, they go quick. Now, are you doing match hole stuff here? Um, not exactly. I'm pretty okay. close to it, though. Since all the skin, so I, I, the, the fabric hides the details. This is a pretty good example. You've got this brown piece, which is aluminum, CNC okay. cut. All the holes were pre-drilled. Ah, okay. Now, the frame that goes below it is these, you know, the, the aluminum tubing right you lay that in there and you drill it through the rest of the way so you're using the uh, this part as the, as yes. the pilot hole and every thing. single area like here this is one complete aluminum part that I see. lays okay. over well, that's a lot easier it. on the build so of that. it self jakes it self jakes all the way up so yeah. let's move up to the nose of the airplane yeah. here this looks a little different now this is you've beautiful. used a variety of engines in your exploration of b-light aircraft yeah. what do you got on here now well what we've got on here is a half vw this one was made by Hummel engines scott okay. kassler is well known to they get a lot of experience at doing that yeah he tells me he's built over 500 engines is that right so he's the master and uh, but you can get them from great planes you can you can cut and build them yourself what you end up with here is a 45 horsepower power plant that you can fly at 84 pounds, which is... Is that right? Yeah. 45 horsepower, 84, 84 pounds. Wow. That's an impressive number. For, it is an impressive. For any engine, but for a four-stroke, Now think about it's it. It's kind of unusual. We worked hard to get the weight down. We worked hard to make it easy to build. And we worked hard to make it so that the airframe would mate with what I think is the very best ultralight engine uh, in the world, which is the half VW. Readily available parts, low cost of acquisition, low fuel consumption, uh, been getting between 1.6 and 2 gallons an hour, <laughs> right? but I haven't really worked on setting a low cruise on it, so I'm hoping that I'm going to get it down below 1.5 gallons an hour. Is that right? Wow. You know, direct cost. The gas prices being what they are, that's really valuable direct savings. Direct cost of 8 bucks an hour. 8 bucks an hour. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. That's good so stuff. So I can do the $4 hammer for it. The 84 pounds, is that complete with yeah. carburation and exhaust and exactly. the other okay. things? 
That includes a single magneto. Okay. Uh, we do have a pickup installed for a second electronic ignition. I have not installed that. That adds about four pounds. Okay. It includes the exhaust stacks. It doesn't include this little piece here, which is uh, our oil pickup for temperature okay. and okay. pressure. Uh, but the bottom line is, is it really is. You can mount it. Uh, the engine mount would add another about three pounds. Uh, we really did a good job. On yeah, that's mount. that's a lean looking little yeah. mount. It's uh... so it's the real deal. You can have a flyable four stroke for under ninety pounds. You know, we love our two stroke engines because they got us in the game. They're light. They put out a lot of power. There's good things to be said about two stroke, but and they most still have people, their place. Of course, we use them when we have to have more power with less weight. Yeah, it's hard to beat them for that particular yeah. power to weight thing. Yeah. But most people really like the whole concept of two behind four stroke better. I've heard it for. Uh, the last three years. So now you got Trust an answer. Me. Yeah. Great stuff. Talking here with Jim Weeby of Be Light Aircraft, who's done some pretty cool things that we've watched over the years and more now. Uh, we didn't give everybody our, all the information, so we'll put it on the screen, but give us your website address sure. for uh, more info. Be Light Aircraft, B E L I T E, aircraft.com. And you've got a blog spot that I follow because it's some neat writing. An uh, old computer guy like you knows about using it well. Uh, that we can find the blog Please. information through the Straight website Straight off as well. the website. It's right there on the home page. I, uh, I post anywhere from four to ten or more times a month, and i got readers coming from all over the I world. I see that, right. I noticed yeah. that. I'll uh, help link you up to that as well on my website, which is bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us today at Sun and Fun.